Okay, if you talk about logistics and uh, sales and distribution, although uh, the scope of sales and distribution looks pretty simple and small, but it's quite very integrated because sales is the backbone for every operations because all the operations are done and achieved for sales to be completed. Okay. So if we talk about as in sales, we're talking about creating an order, but to create an order, we need inquiry. After an inquiry comes in, quotation is set and created, and then the order is placed. Okay. The scheduling agreement, we'll also see this, what this is all about. What is a contract? What are back orders? Product costing. Product costing is not in our scope, but we just get an idea. Okay. How uh, costing is basically done. This is very fundamental to sales. Okay. And if you look at the scope, it's quite limited, but from the inside, it's not that limited. So if you go into inquiry VA11, this is the transaction code. Okay. Transaction code. And VA11 inquiry. Okay. Inquiry type. So what is the inquiry nature? Is it a simple inquiry or is it a warm inquiry, stock inquiry or a serious previous customer inquiry? It can be anything as per your client process. Inquiry. DT72. Sales office. Sales group. Okay. Sales group is not assigned. Okay. B72. Enter. HBIN has not been defined in sales area in DBQ. Okay. Fine. So it has some uh, configuration problems. But let's see how we can actually remove this before we start doing the configuration. Okay. Assign permanent order types to sales areas. Okay. DT72. Now, this is our sales area that we have created. So, AEBO is our standard order, order types. DT72. I boss. Okay, so what we are doing here is a sales org. This is our sales organization that will overlook the sales to customers and what they will be selling through distribution channels now what are distribution channels we'll discuss this also donut breads now these are divisions basically and under divisions will be distribution channel for example sales org for supervising sales divisions are basically business verticals distribution channels 
are basically the peripheries peripheries or um, routes to ensure deliveries okay so whenever there is an inquiry it will be routed through this division to this division uh, distribution channel for this sales org so every part of your organization is connected whenever an inquiry will be generated so i'll save this so just this is just an example basically okay we'll go into much more details If we try to I boss, it's working. Okay. Inquiry number will be generated. Show sold to party, ship to party are your customers. You'll also see how to create them. Okay. Then validity is required for an inquiry. Now, this is a document that you will see at the front end. Over here, we'll give the details for the material. For example, the inquiry is from a customer who wants a certain material in a quantity a certain quantity okay and the uh, uh the details for the material will be noted down and then we will also get details for the ordering party shipping details and how it will be procured okay so sales unit what is sales unit we'll also see no possible entries okay so uh, mm, this is how you build an inquiry and this inquiry will get upgraded to quotation. Okay. It gets upgraded to quotation, create, quotation type. Let me see if it is working. No possible entries. Process sales document type with BA 11. So we'll have to see which is uh, for quotation, what document uh, document type will have to be created for this sales org. So every company and every sales org will have their own document types for inquiry, for quotation, for sales order, for payment, for customers, everything. The thing is, that is the basically how you have to uh, give. Uh, you have to give your intelligence into configuring a company. Then comes the order. So I'm telling you the uh, order in which a sales process is basically followed. First comes the inquiry, then quotation, and then this order. Now, this is the order type that is already made. Okay. And your standard order number will be generated, auto-generated. The value will be generated also okay the party again will will be borrowed from the inquiry level if that inquiry went ahead and then material details will be given this is the whole process and then that is saved okay so if i try to give any other order type Okay, so I have only one order because this is the order type that is configured against this sales or that we have already seen. Okay, so once this is done, then of course you uh, go ahead for payments, for invoicing, for deliveries. Okay, and deliveries are done. Then we uh, billing is done. The billing document is generated. What is a billing document? Let's see that as well. So the document, the order is uh, supplied over here, the order number, and then the billing is generated uh, uh, for that very customer and it is executed, okay? We have to see the delivery as well, okay? Shipping and transportation, outbound delivery, picking, packing, loading. Now this is again a part of sales and distribution process, okay? So this is the process I've just told you in a very summarized manner okay credit management again this is a very critical part of handling your business credit management i hope this is all clear 
Now comes the configuration part, SPRO. SPRO, this is the transaction code. Now we want to set up a company, SC10. Now SC10 is where we, I have to see uh, the previous configuration that I have done, okay? This is the configuration that we have done with the previous member that came in, okay? We will have to create all of this, and then we'll go ahead with other uh, areas, okay? So SPRO, reference IMG. Now we want to build a structure. I know this is a, sounds a little bit confusing, but we need a structure of the company, which is your client. Okay, what do they sell, for example, as we have seen a company that was selling donuts, a bakery, right? In a similar way, you can have a company that sells, for example, uh, electrical accessories, okay, like laptop accessories, uh, mobile accessories, and so on. Let's do this in this way. Okay. And what else? So to sell, we need company, company code, sales or uh, division, distribution channel, um, Sales areas, sales groups, sales offices. Okay. We will have to configure this. Okay. Now, and then we will integrate all of these units. Okay. Now, we will now start with company and company code. So what will be the name of the company? Let me just, um, what name should we give it? Company will be Neon Series or Neon Bro. Okay. Company code will be Neon Dubai. Currency ABD group currency USD uh, sales org will be so if, if it is a neon group we will say NN01 NN01 sales org will be NN01 okay division laptop accessories Laptop accessories one zero one or LA one distribution channel mobile accessories MA one same LA one and one and we'll integrate all of these and we also need a plant also plant very necessary. Uh, plant will be and then zero. Okay. Enterprise structure. New entries. And then zero one. Or let's say not and then zero one and then CO. Go. Three five nine five. 
English. Okay. GBP. Okay, we'll keep the mother company. Now, this is the mother company that we are creating. Save. We have created this company, Neon Group Co. And then CEO. Now we'll create a company code. Now what is the company code? Company code is the unit for operations. Financial, supply chain, production, all is done at company code level. So plant sales org purchase org all report to company code so company code can also publishes its own books like financial statements balance sheet pnl okay nn0 now this is that was nnco because mother company we can have Multiple company codes reporting to one company. Okay. Neon broke by country AE, currency AED, US, or oh, sorry, not US. Language will be English. English, save AE, 